I decided to recreate the LEGO Star Wars Dagobah diorama set by increasing the size and adding more scenes from the movie. I started off by building the foundation using two 48 by 48 grey base plates and a bunch of 16 by 16 Technic bricks. Next, I built the large swamp where Luke crashes his X-Wing using trans green and trans dark brown to create a murky look with patches of algae. For the groundwork, I went with a mix of dark tan and olive green for a damp, muddy and moss-covered look. Next, I worked on the camp area for Luke and R2 after they escaped from the sinking X-Wing. The path from this camp will eventually lead to Yoda's hut. I also added some large puddles of water here and there since Dagobah is a wet and rainy planet. The terrain gradually elevates up to the area surrounding Yoda's hut. I wanted to add some elevation to create a sense of progression in this mock, but not to overdo it since Dagobah has quite a flat terrain. The trees on Dagobah look like large oversized mangrove trees that stand on their roots. I tried to recreate that structure using elephant trunk and dinosaur tail pieces. With a snot built tree trunk sitting on top of the roots, and mixing in some olive green for the moss covered look. This is the cave where Luke confronts a mirage image of himself in Darth Vader's suit. In the movie, it looked like a cave under a tree, so I tried to recreate that look with the oversized root structure here. Afterwards, I started working on the smaller plant details, sticking to the rooty, viney look with the darker toned plant pieces for that gloomy look that we see on Dagobah. I planted down plenty of these patches of plants since foliage on Dagobah is really dense. I also added a fallen over tree trunk, connected down using a hinge brick and a turntable piece for the off-grid placement. I went with the black roots here to represent the dead roots of this fallen tree with some fungus feeding off the decaying biomass. Afterwards, I went back to add some weeds growing from the swamp for a smoother transition from the water up to the land. I finished off the botanical work by adding tree leaves with vines hanging off them and sticking to the darker tones. All that's left to do now is to place the muddy X-Wing covered in vines that Yoda lifts using the Force and placing the minifigures. 